Okay, so let's pretend you have more pins down than I do, and now it's time to personalize them. You can click on this pin right here, and then I'm going to click the pencil and I'm going to edit. So I'm going to leave that there, and then I want to add some of my information from my notes as to why I went to the hotel, or this is the restaurant, so I need to go to my notes. And oops, I didn't put down why I wanted to, but I do know why. So I'm going to type it in now. Um, you probably already have yours done. So I'm going to say, this hotel is right on the beach and has high ratings. It also has local cuisine. So that's the reason I want to do that. And then I'm going to hit save on that. That's one way to personalize. Then I also can go and I can add images. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get the images from my Google Drive because I saved, saved them in there. So I'm going to look at recent and this is a view from the restaurant. So I'm going to put that in there. And then that adds that as the background when people pop on my tab. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Let's move this down. Nope. Okay. Um, I'll zoom in some more so that you can see this. Um, I could also go and I could add other images. And I can add other notes, but I'm going to save that. There we go. Um, if there were two images, people would be able to um, zoom through all of the different pictures. And then I also can personalize my um, pin. add a marker. So then I also can change the looks of the pin and I click the bucket, the paint bucket. I click the style. So I could put all different colors. So maybe day one I'm going to have all my markers be blue. But then I also can go in, this is a restaurant, and I can click more icons. So I'm going to look for, and there's all these different items up here. I could pick different shapes for different days or different types of objects. Um, let's see, sports and recreation. I just want food. So um, this is a restaurant. I'm going to pick a spoon and knife. So I'm going to leave that one on there. And let me change the colors. Maybe I'll go with purple for days one and two. So I'm going to do that and it changes the colors. That's going to help the person looking at my map keep track. And then now I'm going to go to my next location. This is the hotel. And I'm going to add a picture there. And then I'm also going to change the style of this. I'm going to pick the same purple color because that's what I want to do with the layer for days one and two. And I'm going to pick a hotel. So I'm going to look at more icons and look at something that to me would mean a bed or where I'm going to stay overnight. Hmm. Food storage. Oh, let's see places. There we go. Um, sorry, this is taking me so long just to select this. I'm going to. Eh. There. It says headquarters, but I'm going to make that be where I'm staying. Did I not pick it? Do, 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 do. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to hit OK. All right, so now that's going to be the symbol I use for my other hotels and lodging. Another thing you might want to do is change the base map. This one's good. It's the political map. It shows where the different cities are. But you also, if you like the overall look of other kinds of maps, you can kind of experiment with what they show. Maybe you want your items to stand out more. Um, 
This one's really cool too. It's the physical map, so it shows uh, more like a bird's eye view. I think I'm going to stick with that. And that's some of the personalization I'm going to do. You can go and do the same thing with days, other days, or if you do um, all of your hotels in one and all of your others, the colors are a good way to have a theme for a curtain, a certain um, layer. 